Benjamin Simonot from Simonot Goddard Company, family business set up in uh, 1787. We are very lucky to still have this great heritage and we fight every day to maintain it in France, made in France and uh, of course uh, to, uh, reproduce and recreate uh, our handkerchief patterns designed from our in our history. We are not going to invent things. We are not following the trend, we are not following the fashion. We just use our roots, our archive, our books, our old patterns and we we do some re-editions in a nice way. These are from the 1910, 1920, 1930. So this was a, a original one and we, uh, we, we re-woven them. We thought this was for shirting and we, we wanted to make a pocket handkerchief so it's a fill a fill, hand on hand, fill a fill, cotton warp weft linen with checks. It's called Prince of Wales. It's really beautiful uh, and it's super, super light. Fil de Bouche is a French name, it's a unique, unique product. You, you have, we have only 300 left in France and our factory. When it will be all sold, it will be finished forever. It's not possible to make again. Yeah. It's one ply, but it's, it's a super fine linen and also it's a very, very fine on roll uh, edge. And the history was that this lady put the yarn, fil de bouche is mean yarn in the sleeve. So the lady to get the yarn humid and to have more facility to, to, to weave them, to weave them uh, they put the yarn on the sleeve to make it humid. Yeah. Unfortunately, these people did not live very, they work in very bad conditions. So, um, uh, we have to respect to respect this, and uh, uh, but now if if we can if we wanted to do make again we could for yarn reason for machine reason for yeah. people reason and uh, and social reasons. This has been woven uh, at that period, as you say, uh, in the north of France, which is called uh, the Cambrai region region, and at that time the the, the this guy called Multinier went where half weaver at home and half farmers working in field and the history also say that they, they took the cotton from the from the from the field themselves and the linen of course the linen uh, the north the flounder linen they bring it back home and and wove and uh, wove them the, by hand so it was unwoven it's called métier à bras. It means uh, bras is uh, arms, mm -hmm. and uh, this is really, uh, really the history. So uh, we are very lucky because we still have some. Of course, it's a four hundred dollars retail price, but uh, I mean it's like an old Ferrari or something like you know, or a very old bottle of wine. Work start from the yarn. Each yarn first uh, we dye each yarn and then we start the, the weaving uh, process. Mm -hmm. Then we we set up the warp uh, in uh, in our factory in Lyon and we start the weaving. And uh, so from the white yarn to finish weaving uh, fabrics, it's about already two months work. And then it's masterizing. Masterizing it's a chemical process. We take the we have the effect to to take the the light to take the the sun the shiny and reflect it. That's why it's, it looks like silk. You know, two of the characteristics that are just incredibly unique to me. I mean, you really have to touch this yeah. and hold it to fully understand how it's different than the same pocket square that is made today. You know, the single ply linen yarn, the, the finesse. I mean, it's a large dimension, but as you said, when you fold it, I mean, it's like having a cloud in your pocket. Our customers are not expecting that to sell just a white handkerchief that everybody can do, plain white handkerchief or plain silk or something like this. The customer, they are expecting some, uh, some signature design, limited theory, and I mean, it's all about quality. Uh, some brands, they do, of course, not how quality, and they want to sell more expensive. It's very difficult to to find people now who, can, who are able to, to
to get this very fine unrolling. Not difficult, it's impossible. It was very fine because of the fabric. Always come back on the fabrics. The base is the fabrics and the base, how it's woven with the delicate time. And of course, the unrolling is fine because the, the yarn, the fabric is fine. So you will find a large part of our of our collection, vintage one, more recent one in the Anker Project uh, web store. I think our unique uh, internet business in US because it's focusing a, a lot about quality. It's a, it's a really great uh, store where you can find my thing, but you can find also nice hangers, shoe polish, all, all great quality. So let's go.